All right, so uh, this is where we ah, we're paint. Well, this is where we're paint. This is where I'm painting at now. This is kind of like uh, uh, my paint booth right now. So um, I pretty much taken uh, everything out. I swept it out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean it out with some water, wash everything down. Because what I'm gonna be doing is actually building a paint booth. Um, well, I'm sorry, not a paint booth, but a, a pressurized paint booth because um, this has been having trouble with some of my paint jobs cracking and some bugs getting in my paint. And I wanted something that was uh, that's going to be, you know, professional, uh, but at best, you know, it's going to work. So um, but this is the perfect area right here. We already got our lights and everything. So we're going to um, we're going to uh, actually frame it up here. And I guess some work done, but this is just pretty much we got a door we're gonna put in there. Uh, got some two by fours over there. Got some plexi, some Lexan that we're gonna use to cover. I already got me a fan and a heater. Also, there's a, another piece of uh, um, particle board. I got a some a, a grill. I got a couple of things in here, so gonna go ahead and get started on it and uh I'm not gonna pay anything until we get this bad boy done all right all right it's day two of the build um i finally got the first part of the frame up there in the truck so uh looks pretty decent got my ceiling on there already on the outside let's take a look here on the inside and that clearly clears that door. So that door is still gonna be able to open. Uh, I got a sealant there. Kind of fuzzing up on this side. Uh, this side I'm gonna put two more lights in here. One light's gonna go up here, then another light across the way in the back to light up everything in the back. And that'll be it. I was gonna do five lights, but I think um, I'm pretty sure that will be enough. Um, so, uh, it's kind of midday, afternoon, not noon yet. So, we're going to work all day, man. We're going to hump it all day. See how much we can get done. And maybe we can finish uh, on Sunday. So we can start painting on uh, Tuesday. You know, give it a day to settle and get in. All right. Okay, so this is day two. Um, we are not finished yet tonight. We probably got about maybe an hour left of work but all I'm gonna do uh, see we got our door placed uh, where the door is gonna be um, we're gonna work out the hinges on the door to make sure that it that it, uh, that it closes flush like uh, like so the way it looks um, and of course this screen right here we're gonna put plexi in this screen after uh, after we got the door right we still got to cut off like an inch and a half on the bottom of the door we need to uh, Cut that off there. See where I marked my line. I'm gonna cut that off so that the door will slide a little bit freely. Uh, but we also we put another block on the bottom here uh, to kind of lift it up a little bit so that the door will still shut. You know, give us something to, to uh, close on. It'll seal. So this is the inside so far. Uh, We've managed to uh, get our ceiling boxed up for our door. So our door is all boxed up. We got duct tape pretty much everywhere to try to keep as much air in as we can. Um, there's a little hole right here on the side. Uh, I don't think that'll be a problem as far as the bugs coming in and everything. But there's actually a seal on the other side. So hopefully uh, we won't see any bugs coming through there. And then same thing on the other side here. But we gotta duct tape all of it. I don't like I said. I don't think we'll have to duct tape that because there's actually a seal on the door on the other side when it's all the way up. So that will help prevent that. Uh, but that's pretty much uh, what we've done today. Like I said, we're gonna um, get this door swinging right, and then we are going to uh, hang up our two lights and see what that light looks like. And that's it. And uh, tomorrow we'll get up in the morning and and. Uh, Try to finish the build out. Um, we gotta on this side. We gotta put um, 
our intake is gonna be on this side. I mean, our out, our out is gonna be on this side right here. So we gotta fix that, get that working. Then the intake is gonna be here on this side and the filter is gonna be up here. So that's pretty much what we wanna focus on tomorrow is getting those things done. It's gonna be a challenge, but uh, I think uh, it'll be really fun and look pretty awesome when it's done. But it's looking pretty good so far. All right. Okay, here we are. This is day three. Uh, pretty much continuous work. Uh, pretty much, uh, this is where I left off off last night. I took another video the night before, so today we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna work it out and uh, see what we can get done. So here we are. This is day four. Um, got everything put up now. You can see there. I have a filter, 20 by 20 filter, uh, intake box, you've seen that, there's the outtake box, we got a door up here, and we got it all glassed in with some uh, acrylic, correct the plexi. We still got to find a couple of screws, I'm missing some screws on there, added uh, two more lights in the room so it's really bright in there, um, I'm going to walk inside. I do gotta make sure I close that door when I come in and out, because it doesn't close automatically. Some on the bottom or something like that, but here on this side, there's a little bit of air, so I gotta seal up that to make sure, I got another weather seal I need to put on there to make sure this side stays sealed to help all, help more airflow. We don't want you know any air coming in through there. Uh, basically, we just want all our air coming in through our filter, which you can feel here, and then our intake fan right here. That's all the air we want coming in here. Now, I haven't turned on the intake filter, the intake fan yet. I'm getting ready to, just to see how it is. But as you can see, it's really, really bright in here. We had the, the addition of the two lights helped the brightness in here. So when we're painting in here, we can see everything. Um, we added a digital temperature gauge, indoor, outdoor. And then we also added a digital humidity and temperature gauge, so we can pretty much gauge. Uh, this one tells me the time, uh, the highs and lows, weather forecast, all that good stuff. So uh, it's like working pretty good. Inside temperature is 65 degrees, outside is 62. Humidity is at 74, a little high, but that's okay. It still feels pretty, pretty good in here. Actually, it feels great in here. Now I got a couple of bugs and running around here, but um, I got a blower, so I'm, I'm gonna blow everything out. And then I'm gonna come back with my vacuum cleaner, vacuum, and then we're gonna blow it out again. Try to make sure we get everything out. Um, I'm gonna put our air hose, tomorrow we'll work on putting our air hose in here and uh, uh, maybe do some test painting, I don't know just on some panels or something like that to see how the paint flows um, while I'm in here. But all in all, I think it came out good. We spent about $1,500 on all the parts and it took about four days to do it. So, I mean, this is a kind of a expensive do it yourself, but I would rather do it myself than pay somebody $6,000 to do it. So I figure it save money. That I think it's gonna work really good in here. All right, I'm, so that's it. Uh, this is pretty much done, like I said. Uh, we'll take some pictures of it tomorrow. And I'm gonna test this intake fan and see what's up. <laughs> All right. All right, so here's day five, and we are done with the paint room. Um, we are finished, finally. Uh, did test a little bit and sprayed a little bit in there. Seemed to be okay, not a lot of dust buildup, uh, but it was just a small spray. Um, couldn't really smell the paint, uh, so looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, so that's a look. That's what it looks like on the outside here. Got our nice uh, outlet filter here. Our outlet fan on this side, the bigger fan, the smaller fan, the intake fan. Um, we added little covers <coughs> to the holes, so we can to the holes where we used to adjust the fan. So just slide that back and. Put your hand in there and adjust the fan. Um, got our air hose hooked up there. Uh, to the side, that's all uh, sealed up. Uh, electrical cable here uh, for our lights inside. <coughs> we got a uh, power, not power supply, but a, uh, a 
the surf protector here on the outside and our fans connect to the here. And then we have another surge protector for the light that's on the inside too. It comes through there. We've got a wire up there. Um, uh, got the same thing on this side too. Kind of slide that back. Just that fan if need be. But pretty much we got the out, out, out uh, port fan on high and we got the intake fan is on low. So uh, I think that's working out better for us. Door slides close. Um, that's the inside filter there. And it's a little warm in here, about 83 degrees, but you can feel the difference there each time you open the door. But after the doors open, close, it, it kind of, all the air sucks back out. So it looks like it says working. I open the door, I can feel the heat. I close the door, the heat goes away. <clears throat> so it looks like that's working pretty good. Uh, it's nice in here. It feels nice and good. Um, we got our <clears throat> digital gauges up here. Shows me the time. Out by outside pressure, inside pressure. Outside temperature, inside temperature. Um, humidity is at 46%. Says it's okay. That's pretty good. It was higher earlier, but yeah, it went down significantly. I guess we turn these fans on. 84 degrees in here. So we um, got an airbrush uh, compressor right there with airbrush, couple airbrush guns there. Added lights. We got spots here for our, uh, to hang our um, <clears throat> guns on. Got a little mixing board here, and I'll be we'll paint on these right here. I got a table that drops down. Um, and the only thing I'm missing here, I gotta get it put. Another, I'm gonna put another table in here. It's gonna be pretty much on this side, kind of closer there. But I'm, it's gonna have two two shelves on it. Uh, one so I can put stuff on the bottom and then move stuff around I, as I paint. And I'm gonna put some rubber guards on top of it to uh, to help uh, support anything I'm painting. But uh, also got my hooks up here so I can hang things to paint. Hooks there, hooks there. That, I did that earlier before we did this whole box, but uh, everything looks good. It feels good in here. I uh, can't wait to start painting. Probably maybe do some test painting. Uh, probably Saturday. I'm gonna give it a break for a minute because I've been working on the thing for five days straight. So probably just gonna give it a break and uh, probably start painting maybe Saturday, maybe Thursday. Maybe Thursday I might paint, give it a break tomorrow and do some painting tomorrow, do some painting on Wednesday, on Thursday. <clears throat> and you can really see how it works. But uh, I'm just gonna check on this periodically today and uh, see how the temperature goes. I'm probably checking on two more out at like four or five o'clock, see what the temperature's like, see the humidity, and then check it on out and uh, probably shut it down like at eight o'clock and see that because with this I can probably easily paint till like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, that's what it is. Alright, that's it.